Okay, so hey, Glenn, and anyone else at UVA who may be watching this, this is Ben Finio at Cornell just checking in about a couple things. Uh, last week, Glenn and I had talked about not really putting all our eggs in one basket with the MyDAC, since that's kind of an expensive system that might not always be available. So what I have here are um, three different input-output systems that could potentially be used with the waveform unit or um, any other unit that can tie robotics in somehow. Um, the star of the show here is this little infrared distance sensor. I think this was about 12 bucks on Spark Fun, so it's just a little uh, infrared range finder with a range about uh, it's ranging in the tens of centimeters. So the first thing I have here is just a little analog circuit. So ignore uh, kind of this half of the, the breadboard over there. That's all um, my DAC stuff. I'm just using this little bottom square inch of the circuit. Um, it's just a transistor or resistor. A diode and then this little DC motor and then when I plug this sensor in if you pardon me as I don't have enough hands to do that and film this at the same time uh, I can move my hand in front of this sensor to control the speed of the motor so if I'm very far away the motor turns off and if I move it up really close then the motor goes full speed so that that's real time there's no recording or data logging or anything um, so this is pretty much the um, same as the video I showed you guys before except it's using this little IR sensor now um, and then I can bring this guy over to an Arduino. So I plug this in over here. I have my little Arduino kit and this little snippet of Arduino code that's just a few lines of code from one of the examples. And I can plug in a little servo motor. And now the reading from this sensor is controlling the angle of this servo. So if I move my hand very far away, it rotates to the left. If I move it up close, it rotates to the right. Uh, it's a little noisy and chattery. I think that has more to do with the Arduino than the sensor. I'll have to work that out because um, it's just pretty simple code for an example. And there's no recording or playback here. I'm not sure if you can do that with an Arduino, but since so much of that is open source, I'm sure if somebody else has done it already and figured out how to graph things on a computer screen, we can look that up and use it ourselves. And then the final setup here is with the MyDAC and LabVIEW. So I bring my sensor back over to the MyDAC, plug it in there, and now I've got this LabVIEW screen. You can see it still has something there from my last experiment, so I'm going to run that, move my hand back and forth in front of the sensor. It records for five seconds, Then when I'm done, it replays that on the screen. And then now instead of a motor, it's driving this little LED, so that LED is following the waveform I just did with my hand. So the idea here is really that we have three modular systems. We have just an analog circuit, um, increasing cost a little bit. We have the MyDAC and then, or sorry, the Arduino, and then most expensive, we have the MyDAC. With three different actuators, we have a DC motor, a servo motor, and then an LED. And I use this uh, range finder for the sensor for all three, but again, this could be interchangeable. You know, I have a little box of parts over here. For example, here's a little um, encoder twist knob. You know, there are little other sensors and things that come with the Arduino kit. So really this whole setup should be modular. Whatever the classroom has the resources to use, we can kind of go with that budget level. Um, and then of course the next step is to start actually attaching mechanisms to these. So um, now that I have all this, all this kind of worked out, I'm going to start working and actually using paper and 3D printed attachments to attach to motors like these. Um, so feel free to email me if you have any questions and I will be in touch. Thanks. Bye.